Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Ganit. My name is Samir Sardana and in this video we will continue with our series of 50 golden rules of geometry. This is video number 2 where I'll be discussing one question on the property of a circle. As a very very important rule, similar to this, I am going to cover 50 such rules of geometry and this series will help all the students who are preparing for the exams like CAT, all other MB entrance exams and exams like GMAT, also students who are preparing for government exams like SSC, CGL and uh, CDS, also students who are preparing for IPMAT. This series is going to be very, very helpful for all of you because I'm going to cover 50 unique rules, right, which are very important and with the help of these 50 rules, you can revise your whole geometry, right. So uh, please subscribe to the channel so that you get updates of all the videos. Here in this particular question, right, what is given to us? P, Q, R, S are the given, uh, are midpoints of the side A, B, B, C, C, D and D A respectively. And uh, an internal point inside the square is taken and joined with all the midpoints. Now, area of this quadrilateral and this quadrilateral is given to us. This is 57.82, this is 70.18. But we are supposed to find out is area of this shaded region. Now let me tell you first the direct property. Sabse pehle mein aapko ye property explain karunga ki ye property hai kya. Then we will be learning the complete derivation behind it, right? Fir hum discuss karenge iska derivation. So that aapke baaki ke rules aur uh, bhi is question ke through cover ho jayen. Guys, the rule is that whenever inside a square, whenever inside a square, you take, in, uh, take a point and join it with all the midpoints of the side, then this 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 will divide the whole quadrilateral into four parts right Char, the whole square will be divided into four quadrilateral one two three four and the rule says the area of this one plus area of this whole quadrilateral will be same as area of these two that means a1 plus a2 the rule is a point inside the square when joined with the midpoints of all the sides of square a1 plus A2 is same as A3 plus A4. That's the rule. If you know this rule, this question would be cakewalk for you. If you don't know this rule, you'll not be able to solve the question. Now, A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 is the area of the whole square. So, can I say if A1 plus A2 is same as A3 plus A4, this will be equal to half of area of all ABCD square, right? Is it clear? Now, what is A3 plus A4? 57.82 and 70.18. This area you can see is 7. Uh, this is this is 128, right? So if you add these two areas, this will come out to be 128. So can I say that if this area is 128, the area of the whole square, area of the whole square A, B, C, D the area of the whole square A, B, C, D will come out to be equal to 256. Now this area is 256. That means the whole square area is 256. That means can I say this length will be 16 because square area is A square. Now this whole length is 16. This is a midpoint. Can I say this length will be 8? This length will be 8. So area of this would be half into 8 into 8. So the answer to the question is the area of the shaded region will come out to be equal to 32 and that will be the correct answer of the question. That's it. This is, this is all you need to know. So if you know this rule, you can directly solve this question. Now the question is, why, why this exists? Why a point inside a square when joined with all the midpoints of the sides of a triangle will divide into four quadrilaterals? where a1 plus a2 is equal to a3 plus a4. Why this rule? Let's talk about the derivation of this, guys, right? Let's talk about now. See that, guys? Let me give you, let me give you the whole derivation part of it. See that? All right. See this, guys? If I say, if I say that I have a square, if I say that I have a square, right this is scale guys right and just one minute let me draw the figure let me draw the figure let's say this is a point i have taken right there's a point that i have taken and let's join it with the midpoint let's join it with the midpoint of all of these sides right now this is a b c d guys right let's say this is a 
this is P, this is C, and this is T. Let's say this is a P point taken anywhere inside the square. And uh, let's take this point to be as G. This is a midpoint P, Q, R, and S. Now we want to prove that why A1 plus A2 is same as A3 plus A4. Very, very simple, guys. See that. Look here. Now these are the midpoints, right? And now the don't assume the figure is drawn to the scale. Just assume that this is a midpoint here, right? Guys, if I join, if, if I join this diagonal D to P, if I join the diagonal D to P, now D to P is a diagonal, right? D to P is a diagonal, right? And if I join the side P to S, if I join the side P to S, now look carefully, guys, look carefully. Can I apply the midpoint theorem in this triangle? I hope you guys know what is a midpoint theorem. I hope you guys know what is a midpoint theorem. Now midpoint theorem is that in a triangle, if I join the midpoint of this side with this side, then this line will be parallel to this side and it will be half of this diagonal. Now let's say the diagonal square is D guys. Let's say the diagonal square is D guys, right? Let's say the diagonal square is D. Now if the length of the diagonal is D and this is midpoint, this is midpoint. Can I say the length of this as per the midpoint theorem will be half of d by 2? This will be half of d by 2, right? Similarly, can I also say that this length, right? This length, when I join, when I join, when I join, when I join this length, uh, the point R and Q, when I join the point R and point Q, can I also say that this length, this length will also be the half of the diagonal? This length will also be the half of the diagonal, guys, right? So this will also be d by 2, right? This is d by 2 I'm using the midpoint theorem. What I'm doing is I'm applying the midpoint theorem in this triangle as well as I'm applying the midpoint theorem in this triangle, right? So this length will also be d by 2. Similarly, the diagonal length, both of the diagonal of the scales are equal in length. There's a standard rule. So can I also say, can I also say that the length of this will also be d by 2 and the length of this will also be d by 2, right? So this will also be equal to d by 2 and this will also be equal to d by 2. So you can see that I'm making a figure inside it. I'm making a figure inside it where all the side lengths are equal. So all the sides lengths are given to you as equal. Now, all I have to prove is that, all I have to prove is that now, that this is a scare, guys. Now, this is what I need to prove. Now, whether it's a scare or a rhombus, there's another rule that if the point taken inside the scare, right, if I'm taking this point in this figure, now we, we can see that P to Q, Q to R, R to S, and S to P, all the lengths are same, guys. All of these lengths are same. All of these lengths are same, right? So this is either a rhombus or a scare. But we can easily prove that this figure will also be a scare figure, right? But we don't need that, right? This is a quadrilateral with all four sides being equal. And this is a point inside it. This is also a point. This is also a point inside. G is a point inside this scare also. And when this point is joined with all of these, all of these uh, uh, vertices of this particular figure, this will also give us four triangle where A, Area of this triangle plus area of this triangle will be same as area of this triangle plus area of this triangle. Now, this is another property that you should know, right? Let me explain you that. If I have any quadrilateral here, right, and I take a point here, a quadrilateral like parallelogram, rhombus, square, or rectangle, if I take these four quadrilateral and I take any point inside it, then area of these two will be same as area of these two. Why? Because these two lengths are equal, right? And and you see that this whole height h1 plus h2 will be same as the whole height and because these two lengths are equal these will definitely be parallel to each other so you can easily prove that a plus b will be same as c plus d which is equal to half of the whole quadrilateral area this is another property that you should know right so this will be this is also a very helpful property and this is applicable in parallelogram, rhombus, square and rectangle, right? That if any point taken inside the quadrilateral is joined with all the four vertices of the figure, then four triangles that you can see here being formed is uh, area of A plus B will be same as area of C plus D, right? 
Now in this particular figure, when I say that A plus B same as C plus D, you can see that area of this shaded region would be same as area of this shaded region. Why? Because this is a midpoint, this is a midpoint, this base and this height and this base and this height are already same. So area of this triangle and this triangle is same, right? If the area of this triangle is same as this triangle and this plus this are same as C plus D and all these four shaded region you can see will have the equal area because the base and the height of all of these four triangles are same. This is base, this is height, this is base, this is height, all are same, their midpoint, square sides are same, right? So all these four shaded region have equal area and we already know that A plus B same as C plus D. So if I'm adding a part to A and the similar part is also added to B, so can I say that area of this whole region will also be same as area of this whole region, right? So this is the property that you have to use, right? This property is something that I'll explain to you again in some other video, right? But for this point of time, and it's a very basic property, right? That in any parallelogram, let me give you proof of this also, guys. Right? If I have any parallelogram, right, or a rhombus, or a rectangle, or a square, you see that any point taken inside it, when joined with all three, four the vertices, then this A1 plus A2 will be same as A3 plus A4. Why it is so? You, this is very, very easy to prove. Let's say this length is B, guys, right? And this length is also B because in parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel and equal. Now, if I drop a perpendicular here, this length will be H1. If I drop a perpendicular here, this length will be H2. Now, area of this would be half into B into H1. Now, this is area of triangle. This area of triangle will be equal to half into B into H2, right? Now, if I add them up, I'll have half into B into H1 plus H2. And H1 plus H2 is the whole height. H1 plus H2 is the whole height of the parallelogram. Now, half into B into H. Half into B into H is what? Half into B into H is what? It is half, half into B into H. B into H is the area of the parallelogram. So, this is half of ABCD parallelogram. Now, if this region is half of ABCD parallelogram, this will also be the half of it, right? So, this hence proved that any point taken inside a parallelogram, a square, a rhombus, or inside a, a rectangle, when joined with all the three vert four vertices, will divide the four quadrilateral into four triangles where area of these two opposite, summation of the area of these two opposite triangles will be same as summation of area of these two opposite triangles. This is a Again, one more rule that you should be keeping in your mind and we'll do one more question on this property as well, right? So guys, that's this is this is the proof of it. This is how you're supposed to solve this question. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel of Easy Gunny to prepare for all the exams which you can see are being mentioned on the scroll bar here, right? For all the exams like CAT, IFT, ZAD, CMAT, all MBA entrance exams and all government exams, you can find content on the channel of Easy Gunny. Please share it with all of your friends who are preparing for any of these exams. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next part.